Heritage is our legacy from the past, what we live with today, and what we pass on to future generations. In 2008, Malacca and Georgetown, historic cities of the Straits of Malacca, were jointly listed as Malaysia's first cultural World Heritage Site for having outstanding universal values. The UNESCO World Heritage List includes 878 properties. These include 679 cultural sites, 174 natural sites, and 25 mixed sites in 145 countries. Places as unique and diverse as the wilds of East Africa's Serengeti, the Great Wall of China, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, and the Islamic cities of Central Asia are part of our world's heritage. What makes the concept of world heritage exceptional is its universal application. World heritage sites belong to all the people of the world, irrespective of the territory on which they are located. Our cultural and natural heritage is both irreplaceable sources of life and inspiration. Malacca and Georgetown's rich history as trading ports on the Straits of Malacca was the first justification for inscription. Located at the southern entrance of the Straits, Malacca was founded in 1403 by Parameswara. The port was sheltered and conveniently located. It stood at the crossroads of the monsoons, enabling merchants from Arabia and India to sail down on the winds and traders from China and the Spice Islands to arrive with the northeast monsoon. Paramaswara established a port that quickly became the most prosperous trading city in Southeast Asia. Spices, scented wood and jungle produce were exchanged for Indian textiles with porcelain, silks and metalware from China. Upon Paramaswara's conversion to Islam, when he became the first Sultan of Malacca, the growth of the kingdom prospered and grew. Malacca's wealth attracted powers from afar. Portugal attacked and captured the port in 1511, marking the dawn of European domination in the Malay archipelago. To defend their valuable conquests, the Portuguese began building an imposing stone fort, which they named A Famosa. 130 years later, the Dutch took over Malacca. Unlike the Portuguese, they were only interested in commerce, not crusades, and Islamic traders returned to Malacca. The Dutch proceeded to rebuild Malacca in the image of a Dutch trading town. And for more than 145 years, Holland controlled trade along the Straits of Malacca. Meanwhile, the British East India Company was seeking a suitable harbour for its ships. In 1786, Captain Francis Light took control over the island of Pulau Pinang at the northern end of the Straits of Malacca. Its capital, Georgetown, thrived as an entreport between India and China. Docking at the port were prahus, junks and steamers, bringing traders from all over the region. Malacca passed out of Dutch hands in 1824 under the terms of the Treaty of London. Of surviving historic city centres along the Straits of Malacca, Malacca and Georgetown are the most complete, with a history of over 600 years and a multi-ethnic population. Their multicultural heritage is both tangible and intangible, offering another justification for inscription by UNESCO. Religious buildings in Malacca and Georgetown are exceptional. In Malacca alone, a single street houses three different religious buildings, a testament to religious pluralism. The Kapitan Kaling Mosque was built by the Indian Muslim community 
and is a fusion of various architectural styles. Its distinctively Southeast Asian tiered roof soars beside a pagoda-style minaret. The mosque's decoration includes Western classical influences. Cheng Hun Teng is Malaysia's oldest Chinese temple, with its architecture reflecting that of southern China. The temple has beautiful carvings and gilt work in the main prayer hall. Translated as the Temple of Green Clouds, prayers are held daily for the local community. The massive tile roof is elaborately decorated with porcelain figures from Chinese mythology. The Sri Puyotha Vinayaga Murti Temple is central to the Chitti community since its construction in 1781. The Chittis are descendants of wealthy Indian traders from southern India. Settling in Malacca, they married local women and adopted their customs and traditions. At the temple, one can witness the prayer ceremony daily. Malacca has several beautiful churches, including Christ Church, which was built by the Dutch and is the oldest functioning Protestant church in Malaysia. Built in 1710, St. Peter's Church was the first Roman Catholic church built in Malacca. In Penang, the East India Company built St. George's Church with a Greek temple-like portico. Two rows of Tuscan columns form a central nave for the oldest Anglican church in the country. The Kapitan Kaling Mosque is the largest historic mosque in Georgetown. Its earlier structure dated from 1801. The mosque is thought to have been founded by Tok Nado Burkajang Kain, a sepoy with the East India Company. It was only later that Maidin Merikan, a leader of the Indian community, built a brick mosque. The Aceh Mosque was founded by 1808 by a wealthy Arab merchant prince. The Muslim community then consisted of Arab, Malay and Achenese societies. Many lived in urban kampongs surrounding the mosque in Indo-Malay houses, half timber and half brick dwellings. From the 1830s, Chinese Hokkien traders began moving into Georgetown. Each clan had its own